So now, if you're curious like me, you want to know what's inside one of these healthy cartridges. So here's one that's intact, and here's one that I've cut in half. So, as you can see, there's little gray pellets, and that is your gunpowder. On the other side of your crimp, it's just small enough so that your gunpowder doesn't fall out like a little salt shaker. And when you drop your gunpowder out, what you'll find is inside of here, inside this brass casing, is some green shit. And that's your primer. So, as you can see, there isn't any primer right on the center of it. It's all around the edges, because it ends up going under the edges of this rim. And when your firing pin strikes the rim, it sandwiches it between the brass. And your primer is a pretty hot, high explosive that's sensitive to pressure. And so when it's sandwiched between the, uh, the rim, it goes bang. And it also sets your gunpowder on fire. And um, inside of the chamber, you have a pretty powerful explosion and you harness it to drive the piston which drives your um, fastener. So now if you look at this spent 22 shell um, you can see what happens when the firing pin strikes it leaves a little indent and that's where the primer has been uh, exploded. The interesting thing about gunpowder is that a lot of people think that it goes bang uh, but it doesn't really do that on its own. Um, it kind of just burns, so uh, here's what it looks like. Uh, it just kind of goes like that. It's not really much of a show. But when it's under pressure, uh, it creates... Ah, uh, it smells really good. When it's under pressure, it creates quite a lot of power, which drives your, in this case, the piston. So there it is.